Mboremi, now a push by court leader Raila Odinga to have the opposition present a compromise candidate in this year's election is fueling political debate. But political commentators say the quest for a united opposition to kick out Jubilee from power will remain a pipe dream unless leaders in the opposition sacrifice personal interest. Here's tonight's edition of Spotlight 2017. Telltale signs that the August general election might witness a repeat of the 2002 political battle came alive on Wednesday at the historic Bombers of Kenya when top guns in opposition <laughs> led hundreds of their members in crafting a strategy of removing Jubilee Party from power. And they made it clear in their fiery live speeches as they spelled out their next course of action. We are here to make all of us understand that the only enemy we have and our country has is Jubilee. <laughs> Divided, we shall fall and the country will continue to suffer. Only our unity shall salvage what remains of our country. It appears the lessons of 2012 were not lost on the opposition leaders as they challenged each other to remain true to their cause. At that time, Salim Davadi left Raila Odinga by wayside, breaking an alliance that had lasted all through the Grand Coalition government. As we sit here, each one of us is just but the first among equals. And if we don't embrace that, then we are being enemies from within. And this time, we will not allow any betrayal in our ranks. And therefore, if he's going to negotiate, whoever is going to be the flag bearer will put everything on the table. Everything on the table. I have sacrificed before. I'm ready to sacrifice again. Kenya has been tested to the limit this last four years. It cannot stand another five years of jubilee. Let our unity not be a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Kwa even our uliza, should our presence here signify nothing? It must signify something. It must signify change for the people of Kenya. Dr. Walter Ongeti, a governance and strategy consultant, says Jubilee might be forced to go back to the drawing board and craft a counter strategy to tame the now reloaded opposition. Of course, when it comes to perception, the, the fact that uh, COD is now sort of uh, painting a picture that we are pulling uh, people from across the country, leaders and so forth. That perception is what Jubilee has to be concerned about. Uh, because the moment uh, COD is able to, or NASA is able to convince uh, the masses that, look, uh, Jubilee is a two community uh, kind of uh, organization or, or, or alliance, then that perception may eat into the thinking just for perceptual purposes. But what will really determine uh, the success in the next elections would largely be a scenario that is created by uh, the registration of, of voters. He, however, says just like in 2007, power struggle that saw Kalonzo Msioka and Raila Odinga split the orange, a similar breakup might strike if they drop their guard. In uh, strategy and indeed organizational behavior, uh, one critical thing that may make NASA hold is what we call group dynamics. NASA in group dynamics is just at the forming stage. And so at the forming stage, they will be nice to each other, those things you had uh, them mention the other day at, at BOMAS. Uh, but now when they will be at the storming stage, uh, that is when we will now see if it can really hold together. When, uh, and this will actually come immediately after the registration of uh, voters. How will it come about that if each of these uh, guys, henchmen or appointmen, go to their constituencies, constituencies and counties 
and they mobilize numbers, they'll come back now to the table for negotiation. And that is where uh, the rubber will meet the road. They say history repeats itself. History is going to repeat itself in 2017 in the coalition if they do not reinvent the wheel. At the moment, all eyes are on Western Kenya leaders whose unity many pundits say will be a game changer for the opposition. The, the, the thinking around NASA is that there is nothing revolutionary that is going to come about. But remember again the worst tragedy that has been uh, around the politics of uh, COD is that COD counts on failures of Jubilee than creating what we call a blue ocean strategy. Blue ocean meaning that you can create your own thinking that is outside whether your competitor is failing or whatever it is. What value proposition can COD bring on the table to convince a, a voter in uh, central Kenya that vote for for a court candidate. Additionally, the worst tragedy that has also been uh, facing court, and perhaps they will be addressing it so that Jubilee is worried, is how they structure the, themselves, especially after the leadership structure. There's also the question of how long will they keep secret their political trump card. Uh, people have been anxiously waiting, and the principles must be told that they have kept their country waiting for too long about who is going to be the presidential candidate. We cannot afford to wait until May or April. For now, the seemingly rejuvenated opposition is set to hold joint rallies in their strongholds to push their supporters to register as voters. Duncan Hemba, KTN.